Hello everybody, welcome back to another Backcountry UTV video. Today we are going to be reviewing some A-arm guards from Meyer USA. Um, in this video we are going to be showing the installation process and also giving our feedback on them. Uh, we will also be reviewing some A-arm guards um, either in this video or the next video. Um, so stick around for the unboxing and the installation and to get our feedback on this product. Okay, now we are going to open this up. Um, it comes in a nice plastic uh, wrapping with their logo on it. And then as we take these out, uh, they are fully plastic. As you can see, um, they're almost three-sided. Uh, this one side is a little lower. Um, this is probably a good thing because you don't want a whole bunch of mud staying in here. Uh, you want it to give the opportunity to kind of uh, wash out if you get mud in there. Um, and then, it looks like that this is going to attach by just four uh, screws, one right there and then up there. And the other side is going to be exactly the same. Um, this is very thick plastic. I'd say at least three eighths of an inch thick. Um, so that's a good deal. It's not gonna, it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap or anything. It's very sturdy. Um, so really good on them for making sure that their product won't break or anything. Uh, the last thing that we have in here um, is a sticker for them. That's a nice touch. You always add to your sticker collection. And then you have all the hardware that you need as long as, as well as with the instructions in here. Um, that way you know what you're doing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is put these, they call them P-clips. Um, they are going to go on your lowest uh, A-arm there and then you're going to want the tabs facing inwards. And then after that, you will hold your guard up there. And then on the inside where the other bolts are, it tells you to put the longer uh, screws through. That way you can hold it up and then go back to these P clamps and then get the bolts in the P clamps. Okay, so I'm gonna show you on the table how it uh, goes on there because it's hard to film down there. Um, but these are your P clamps. They're going to go towards the middle of your machine or like towards the bigger part of the guard. So there will be one here and then one there like that. And then on the underside on these two screw holes, um, they send little shouldered washers. Um, those are going to go in there and then you are going to put your screw through there and then washer and nut, and then that's how you're going to do that. Okay, so here I have the one side on. That is how it looks from the front view. Um, if you wanna compare that to how it normally looks, that would be the other side that I haven't done yet. Um, so you can see that it adds a lot of uh, protection there, uh, prevents your, your CV from uh, getting mud in it and stuff. Um, you can also see there that it, it doesn't really have a backside there, so it allows, if any mud does kind of get up in there, it can kind of just uh, wash away. Uh, that was my one worry with this, was that if uh, there was too much cover on the other side, that mud could maybe just stand in there um, and not be able to escape. But it looks like uh, they did a pretty good job of making their design to where even if some mud does get in there, you can still, uh, it can still find a way to get out. Uh, so that's a very good uh, design feature and you can see, also see that it adds kind of right up to this uh, little guard there that comes factory. So that's nice that they can uh, just make it kind of all join up there to allow the least amount of mud in as possible. Okay, so now I have the other side installed. Um, it's just the same process. Um, here's the finished look. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the black kind of just makes a nice accent, especially for uh, this red trim that I have here. Um, you're going to use a 7 8 uh, wrench and then a uh, Phillips screwdriver. Um, one thing that I would say is that it would be nice if they would uh, make those screws uh, Torx instead of uh, Phillips. That way you can't strip them out as easily. And also, it's uh, pretty nice to have a creeper when you're doing this project. Um, otherwise, you kind of have to move your arm around in ways that 
might not be so comfortable and uh, go in between your uh, axle here um, because those back ones way down in there are kind of hard to get to. Um, other than that though, this was maybe one of the easier installs that I have done yet. Um, it's 3 8 inch plastic. Um, it should hold up pretty well against rocks or sticks or mud or anything else that you have. Um, and I want to throw a big shout out to Meyer. Um, they hooked me up with these. Um, they are very good. 3 8 inch prep plastic. Um, their customer service is also very good. Uh, if you need anything from them, you can send them an email and they'll get back to you right away. And they're just very nice guys all around. I want to say thank you for watching this video. Um, if this isn't the end of the video, the trailing arms will be coming up next. Otherwise, I want to say thank you. Be sure to like and subscribe and also comment if you have any other ideas for me to do. And thanks for watching.